This is the ICM255 fan blower relay. We're going to discuss what the wiring terminals are and how you wire it and what some of the features are of this relay. This is sort of a layout of what the relay looks like. Uh, you can see that there is a delay on make for one second and a delay on break for 60 seconds to purge the ductwork. Uh, it can replace some uh, ream and train blower relays, or a lot like this one here, and you can replace those with this. And you can use this to replace uh, less functional relays like the Goodman Stack Relay. This is the blower relay on the board, the high voltage blower relay. The first thing we're going to look at is low voltage wiring. If you look up on the left side, you'll see 24 volt transformer R. That'll be your red wire typically running back to the high voltage transformer or low voltage transformer hot. There is a location on the board of that wire. You would wire it right there. Uh, next one down, you'll see the 24 volts common. That'll run back to the other side of the transformer, typically blue, brown, or black color. It'll just be on the opposite side of the transformer as your red. And that is the location on the actual board where you would wire it up. The last low voltage wire is the green or fan wire. Sometimes it's black. I've noticed over the years. I think on train it's black. Uh, and it will go back to the low voltage field connection, right where you wire it up when you install the unit, which you, when you wire it up with your wire nuts or whatever you use. And there it is right there. Uh, the last thing is the high voltage. And you'll see common, normally open, and normally closed. Your common wire will be your blower speed and it is located right here. And then the next one down will be your power coming in from the lugs or wherever. And then your other one will be your heat strip wire jumper from the sequencer. Okay, here's our 255 relay. We're going to sort of trace out where it goes. We'll start with the low voltage. We have our transformer here. One side we have our 208, 230, and the other side we have our 24 volts. And what we're going to do is one side of the transformer will be dedicated hot, one side will be dedicated common. Doesn't matter which one's which as long as it stays uniform throughout the system. So if we have one side hot, we have our 24 volts hot, which is red. And it will come down here to that side of the transformer. By that same token, the opposite side will then be our common. That's where our signal will come from there. And this signal can be taken from, it doesn't have to be taken from the transformer, it can be taken from other parts of the low voltage circuit, as long as you can get the hot and the common signal from that part of the circuit. The fan signal, or G, will go down to our thermostat wire coming in as long as you know you're using green for fan from your thermostat we'll go right to the relay here's some of the other colors there and it really depends on what you use for your fan wire I, I use green so that's the example I'm using and you wire it to your control now we look up here we have our common on the high voltage relay the common is our blower speed so that would go to our section of the blower. That's our common winding up there. And then you'll have your, you know, different blower speeds to choose from. But that's where it will be located. Down here we have normally open. Normally open, I didn't really draw it in. But wherever you're getting your power from, you'll have your L1 and L2 power. It's just a direct line of power to this point. Let's say it just goes right in here. And you have, see L1 will be common, L2 will be run, or vice versa. And then the last one will be our normally closed, and it will run to the other side. Let's see if I can get my paper to sit still. It'll run to the other side of the sequencer. Basically, the side of the sequencer facing the elements 
you have your power coming into the sequencer here and when it makes power flows into the heating elements and you'll have your supplementary heat and that same token if the blower relay is off and the power is passing through the sequencer it will also pass around through to the normally closed terminal pass around to the common and turn the blower on that's how that works so it's a fail safe if the sequencer gets stuck power flows to the normally closed and around to the blower it keeps the blower running so the heat strips don't overheat smoke up the house and burn down the trailer so that's the ICM 255 that's sort of a spare blower relay I carry on my van that's uh, sort of a little explanation on how it works